Microsoft Word is full of all sorts of default settings, and a table of contents is no different. You saw, before we generated the table of contents, we used the heading styles. Heading 1, Heading 2, and Heading 3. And that was a default inside the system. You generate a table of contents, default, Microsoft Word looks for those styles and generates the table of contents based on that. That's just default. Now the formatting of the table of contents, the colors, the alignment, the leaders, the indentation, it's all default settings. What if you want to format your table of contents? Do you want the numbers? Do you want dotted leaders? Do you want a solid line? Uh, how many levels do you want to display? And so on. What if you want to format it on your own? Get rid of the defaults and you decide the way that the formatting or the table of contents should look. Let's take a look at formatting the table of contents. So first step, I'm going to click into my table of contents. I need to tell Word which table of contents I'm working with here. So I'm going to click into there. I'm going to go up to References, back to Table of Contents, and I'm going to go down to Custom Table of Contents. Now this takes me into the Table of Contents window with the tab Table of Contents, and I can see the preview and the web preview. So if you if you were to take your Word document and turn it into a web page, this is the way it would look. But down below I get a few settings, whether or not I want to show the page numbers, whether or not I want them right aligned, and what type of leader do I want? That's those dots. Makes it easier for your eye to match up the heading with the page number, right? Uh, and I could change them to other symbols as well, just like you can do within tab leaders. I also get down below some formats, some predefined formats for my table. I'm going to change that. I'm going to say classic. And I can see that they changed it a little bit. Headers are now. Top headers are capitalized, a little bit of indentation difference in there. Let's do modern. There's a modern table of contents. Let's do simple. Simple one looks very similar to the first one there. Formal. But we get some options in here to be able to choose how you want to manipulate the table of contents. Not a huge amount of options, but you get a few options inside here. Let's say I'm going to stick with, uh, let's do distinctive. I like the solid lines inside there, a little bit bolder headings. Uh, I'm going to leave these settings turned on. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And my table of contents, you see it's actually updated in the background, but it's asking me if I want to replace it. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And there's my new updated, slightly more formatted table of contents. Got some bold headers. My leaders have changed. There's solid lines rather than those dashed lines. Font's a little bit different. I think heading three got a little bit smaller and not bold like the other ones. But I've done a little bit of formatting here. Now I could take this a step further. Let's go back, References, Table of Contents, Custom Table of Contents. Now these formats, they're still default. They're built into Microsoft Word and I'm just picking a kind of a formatting template to apply to my table of contents. Well, what if you want to change that yourself? I want to make my heading ones, I want to make those blue, get those to stand out or I want to not make it bold, or I want to italicize it. I want to do something different. Well here, still in the table of contents window, I'm going to go down, I'm going to change it to from template once again, kind of back to default, and I'm going to go down to modify. We're going to change the way that our table of contents looks. Now I've got my various levels, I've got nine levels for my table of contents, TOC level one, TOC level two, and so on. So TOC1 would represent a heading one inside of our table of contents. So TOC1 selected, I'm going to go down to modify, and I'm going to change it. Let's see, it's already bold, but I am going to change, oh, what do I want to do? I want to change the color. Let's make that blue. And let's bump up with the font size just a little bit more. Let's go to 16. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. I'm done with that. All right. So I've just changed the way TOC1 looks. Let's change a TOC2. I'm going to grab that one, modify this one. And just for fun, I'm going to make this one orange. Let's get a little wacky with it. And I'll hit OK. All right, so I've now customized it a little bit more here. Getting beyond the default templates that Microsoft Word offers and really getting nitty gritty with it and start to modify it myself. I'll hit OK. You see that's updated right there. I'm going to hit OK again. I want to replace the table of contents, yes. And there we have it. 
I got blue, slightly bigger font for my TOC ones or heading ones. Heading twos became orange. Doing a little bit of formatting here, getting it to look the way that we need it to, kind of match the rest of our document, whatever we need to do in there. Uh, but formatting your table of contents. Try it out. You know, even do this. Once you get in there and start formatting your table of contents, give us a screenshot. Take a screenshot of your screen, go to the QA section of the course, and add it there. Let's take a look at what you've done. What type of formatting have you accomplished? But very magical. Create your table of contents all based on styles, heading styles, and you're done. Save you loads of time.